Welcome to the second in our series of programmes looking back at some of Billboard's most popular music guests. In September 2019, we were invited to the Riverhead Theatre in Louth, where a very special singer-songwriter was on her Sun Out UK tour. Sarah Monroe's contemporary folk and jazz sound has made her a favourite of Jamie Cannum and Michael Ball, and her new album Angel Road captures some of her best work. You play lead guitar and bass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So constantly changing between the two in, in the set, which is it's always good. Jogs keeps you uh, alert. If you ever see me pick one up and then put it down, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. no, that, that's Whoops. not that one. Yeah. And James, what, what's, what's your instrument? Uh, saxophone and drums. But not together. again, not the same time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is something to work on. Yeah. Yeah. Sarah, the, the, there's a bit of a clue in the name, really, isn't there? <laughs> I, I, presume, I presume you do the singing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, what are your musical influences? Um, so, um, I'm very much, in terms of like vocally, uh, very much Eva Casti. I uh, absolutely love her and big fan of Karen Carpenter as well. Um, and in terms of writing, it's, it's kind of focused on st storytelling. I love writing lyrics. The lyrics is the favourite part for me. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite a broad range, but it all comes down to that storytelling aspect. In the times that we've had, the times we've had it all. What are the challenges for a professional musician these days? <laughs> Where do we start? <laughs> Um, Managing to make a living. Yeah, just, yeah. I think yeah. you, more so than ever, you have to be extremely diverse and you can't just be, this is the one thing I do. It's you've got to, you've got to be able to do a little bit of everything. You know, some, you've got to be able to produce your own stuff, distribute your own stuff, write, play. You are the one. But you, you just have to accept that you can't make music money off of recording music and that is just the way it is now. Um, you know, I think the gigging aspect of it is, one, I think it's better than a recorded thing because you're going to see a different performance every night. So yeah. hopefully it's better than the last time. Than, uh, you know, that, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, obviously when you have a new album, your fans are going to love to hear you play that album live as well, so I think that's a big part yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah and yeah. you can do something different with it live, you know, yeah. or you can strip it back and sometimes people like it that way, you know, yeah. they think it's yeah. more intimate and yeah. it just gives you more scope to, especially with the technology in live mm. music now, mm. you can, mm. if you want to, recreate a very big sound, yeah. which previously would have been mm. impossible. After this tour has ended, which will be just at the end of this year, um, we're going to go back in the studio and I've got a third album lined up. And there's a few things of songs that I've had on the back burner, which I really want to record and get all my musician friends to help record. And then we're all going to write some new stuff together. Um, Matt and I have written a few tracks get James doing some production, doing some writing. So, um, you know, even Rosie up there plays cello. We're going to get her on it. Um, you know, just try and, try and involve as many people as possible. Those slip-ups 
leave them in the dressing room Don't let your fears get to you If you hear them all singing and standing Or leaving after just one song Just make it, make it your own Nothing to lose. Take a minute or two. Don't look down at your shoes. So worry, why worry when you've already come so far? I'll take it.